Since USB Type-C has been a thing, people have been hyping it as the port to end all ports. And while I'm a bit skeptical of it, I wanted to believe that this one single port could make your life a lot easier. But sadly, that's a little too idealistic. So in a perfect world, anything with USB Type-C ports should work just fine with any accessories with USB Type-C, right? As long as the device supports the features, then it should work, right? Well, that's what we're gonna find out today. Today, we're gonna be looking at both the Nintendo Switch and the MacBook Pro. Both have USB Type-C ports and both also have accessories that give them extra features. The MacBook, along with the USB Type-C dongle, allows it to charge and use other displays via HDMI, as well as giving it the abilities to plug other things through regular USB. The Switch dock, along with the Nintendo Switch, gives it the ability to charge, use another display via HDMI, as well as plug in other accessories through USB. Did I repeat myself? Yeah. That's because both of these accessories provide pretty much the exact same features, but to different devices. So when you switch them around, that means they should work on the other device, right? So here are the experiments we'll be trying to do today. We're gonna to be trying to use the Switch dock on the MacBook Pro, as well as using the USB Type-C dongle on the Nintendo Switch. What we'll be primarily focused on today is whether each device can charge and use a second display or not. Anyway, let's start. Initially, I tried shoving the MacBook straight into the Switch dock, and well, it didn't fit properly because the Switch dock has two lumps inside that prevent anything other than the Switch to use the dock. So instead, I went to Amazon, bought an extension cable, and then used that to plug the MacBook into the Switch. Using the charging cable that came along with my MacBook, I plugged it into the Switch dock, and then the Switch dock started freaking out and flashing green lights everywhere. I did a little more research and found out the reason for this is you're supposed to use only Nintendo AC adapters with the Switch and not anything else. So I tried using the cable that came along with the Switch and it started charging the laptop for a little bit. Five seconds later, it started flashing green again and it wasn't charging the laptop at all. But if you plug the AC adapter Nintendo provides directly into the laptop, it charges just fine, just slower than the usual MacBook charger. So overall, I say experiment number one was a failure. The dock did not work very well with the computer at all, and I even ended up scratching my computer a little bit. So this time I tried to do the exact same experiment, but the other way around, using a USB Type-C dongle with the Nintendo Switch. Using either the Nintendo branded or Apple branded USB Type-C cable yielded the exact same results. They both charged the Switch fine, however the USB port and the HDMI port did not work. This USB dongle I have tried to use even on my friend's USB Type-C smartphone. It works perfectly fine, but the Nintendo Switch just doesn't agree with it. So here's my conclusion. It seems Nintendo is using a modified version of USB Type-C. All it can really do with other accessories other than Nintendo branded ones is charge. The Switch dock is practically useless to anything else other than the Switch. So that leads me to think that Nintendo did something different with their ports compared to everyone else. Maybe it's hardware, maybe it's software, that's not really my area of expertise. In my opinion, this kind of sucks for the average everyday person and sets a very scary precedent. What's stopping other companies from doing the exact same thing to USB Type-C ports, allowing only their own accessories to work with their products and not third-party ones? Say for example, Apple decides to ditch their lightning ports and decided to implement USB Type-C ports on all of their iPhones. And then you find out your Android chargers with USB Type-C don't work on them and only the Apple branded one works. I think it'd make people mad, but you know, that's just my opinion. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys think Nintendo is right or wrong for not allowing third-party accessories and third-party products from working with the Switch and Switch Dock. Anyway, I hope you guys found this video useful. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, comment, and well, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.